This is Tom. Tom is a goat. With a hat. And a, um, stuff. There we go. Goatman Tom lives in the future on a planet known as Proxima Centauri. Ever since Tom was a little kid, he wanted nothing more than to buy a new tank for his pet jellyfish. Now, Tom lives in a limited resource economy. He went to the jellyfish tank store with high hopes of buying the Model XT jellyfish tank. But he realized, to his mother's utter dismay, that he could not afford the tank. The price he was willing to pay was below the price the sellers were willing to sell. It pretty much ruined his day. After several days of brooding, Tom decides that he's going to do what no Goatman has ever done in the history of Goatman. Tom was going to start a business. Yeah. Tom told his mother of his plan. You can't start a business! You're a Goatman! You don't know the first thing about economics! But Goatman Tom had a plan, and he was going to prove his mother wrong. Tom took out a loan from his local bank and approached a group of lemmings indigenous to Proxima Centauri to start his business. Tom and his new throng of minions came up with a brilliant new product called the Centauri Rock. Together, they marketed it to the inhabitants of Earth, a lowly planet with primitive life forms. But the cost of shipping was high, and the people of Earth would not buy the Centauri Rocks for the price Tom was asking. This created a surplus. In addition to that, Goatman Tom's minions weren't satisfied with their wages and decided to go on strike. They weren't willing to work at the wage Tom was willing to pay them. This created a shortage. Goatmen just weren't meant for business. It's our hooves. We don't have thumbs. What do you expect? Tom was running out of money, and in order to save his business, he needed a new idea. On fast. The three minutes were almost up. Tom created a new product, Yay! one so amazing and so elaborate that nobody on earth could replicate it. Because of Tom's absolute advantage, everyone benefited from trading with Tom. His minions were happy, and the strike ended. But Tom's new product was so popular on earth that he decided to pay the lowly humans a visit and shop for his new jellyfish tank. However, Upon arrival to a country known as the United States of America, Goatman Tom was arrested. Unfortunately, Tom had created a monopoly for his product, and the U.S. issued a warrant for his arrest. Tom was incarcerated for his crimes, but he got his jellyfish tank, so he got what he wanted in the end, and he learned some valuable lessons in economics. Tom? Where are you? Ryan Little. <laughs>